Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Javier. Make sure you guys go ahead, click the subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you are notified when I upload next. For today's Halloween day, we're gonna be doing the half skull face looking, and I'm actually really excited. So let me shut up and let's get straight into the bones. <laughs> Alrighty guys, as you can tell, I already have this face already covered with foundation and already set, and this side is clean. We're gonna go ahead and start by blocking out our eyebrows. So we're gonna go ahead and use the our handy dandy almost glue, dissolvable, water dissolvable, always good for brows. So we're gonna go ahead and start by applying it all over your eyebrow and circular motions first to get inside of the hair, like so. So now with our pencil brush, we're gonna go ahead and brush it with this little one right here. We're gonna go ahead and brush it down this way. So they're all glued down. All right, now going back with the glue, we're gonna go ahead and go this direction with the brow to flatten it out like so. So now we're just gonna wait for it to dry. All right, now that our eyebrow is already dry, we're gonna go ahead and set it with powder. With our Chi Chi Blender, we're gonna go ahead and press it down. And I'm just gonna blend that powder in there so it locks it in place. Alrighty, once we have set the powder on the eyebrow, we're gonna go ahead and use our foundation to cover it up. I normally would put my concealer, but let's try it. This time I'm gonna try it with my foundation first. That's probably enough. You know what, did it go away? Kind of, it's still there, you can still see it, but that doesn't really matter because, and now we're gonna go ahead and cover our face with white paint. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and, and outline what it's gonna be the skull, and you know that I always like to use a pen, a brown, white pencil. I'm just gonna go ahead and outline basically everything that needs to be white. So we're gonna go ahead and use some latex to bump this up so it looks wider. So we're gonna go ahead and obviously use our latex. And we're just going to start building it up from there. Alrighty guys, so now that I have built this up, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to start adding the white paint to cover all of this negative space. And start giving some foundation and volume. I'm going to go ahead and start adding white right here and start painting. Alrighty guys, so now that we have it covered our face in white, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and start adding the black into it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start by adding black shadow. We're gonna go ahead and dip into the James Charles palette. We're gonna go ahead and use, um, I believe it's called Spooky. Uh, go ahead and use Spooky, which is the black. We're gonna go ahead and add Spooky, and I'm gonna be using the Morphe M506. 
and I'm just gonna grab some pigment and I'm just gonna start tapping it all over the eye um, and just blending it in and out. Alrighty, with our black paint and a flat brush, we're gonna go ahead and start applying the black around it. So it blends in with the paint. I discovered if I do it this way, the paint won't be brushed out by the brush. And it will also just stay where it's supposed to be and it will cover the cracks. Now we're gonna go back again with our black shadow, the spooky, and we're gonna go ahead and tap it in there to make sure it locks in place. Now that we have done that, we're gonna go ahead and do the nose, and we're gonna go ahead and do the design right here that kind of goes into the jaw, you know. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and use some, uh, darken this out so it looks like it's coming out of my face and do this face, something like that. It wasn't what I was trying to go for, but it gets across the point of the makeup look. So something like this. So now we're gonna go ahead and add more detail around this here because I want it to be a little bit colorful. All right, with my makeup brush 506, it's a little bit dirty, weird. And don't ask any questions. We're gonna go ahead and add some red around here just to blend that in because I'm planning on doing something reddish in this eye. We're gonna go ahead and start adding some red right here and lightly blend them all, the black and the black, the black and the white together with the red. So, kind of like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of an orange just to kind of blend it in there, mix it in there. Um, but you can go ahead and add some of these colors right here into the um, teeth so they kind of look similar to oh my god I got right here. similar to the right here so I'm gonna go ahead and add some color alrighty so now that we have done this part we're gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and do this side off camera so it doesn't take forever so I'll be right back Alrighty guys, so now that we have uh, done this eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bronzer. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with it. Alright, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and add some bronze. Um, Highlight. We're gonna go ahead and use some highlights, and I'm using face actually for the highlight. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it right here. All right. So now that we have finished this side of the face, I'm gonna go ahead and add the last details, which is gonna be adding blood all over this, so it looks like it's cut. Um, it's gonna be a mess, so I'll be right back.
Okay, so now I'm adding like drips of blood. So it kind of looks like the blood is actually coming out of my skin. And by doing that, I'm just adding a bunch of blood in one spot and it kind of drips down by itself. There you go. And there you have it guys. There's the whole makeup complete for this half skull face. Make sure you guys comment down below anything that you like about this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you actually enjoyed it. Um, and like always, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified when I upload next. Guys, on the next one. Bye!